Right guys, we just thought you would just show you our hotel room here in Edinburgh and we're staying at Motel 1 on, I think it's Waverley Street, I'm not too sure what it's called. It's, it's called Motel 1 Royal, there's Motel 1 Princess and Motel 1 Royal. Okay, it's Motel 1 Royal and it's just right next to Waverley train station, so here's just a wee overview of the room. You get your tea and coffee in that here, my camera bag, your hair dryer, obviously the bed, and we paid a wee bit extra for a room with a view. Now, you can see here, it is absolutely amazing. Look at that. Look at that for a view. Christmas market in the distance there. Look at that. Cool, I'll just show you the bathroom. The bathroom's actually pretty nice as well. There's me, freezing, lovely big shower. Right. How cool is a Christmas tree here in the hotel? It's massive. <laughs> Here's just a wee overview of the Christmas market. We're going to hopefully head down here later on tonight. <laughs> And just in front of this brilliant big building, we think it's the money building, we're not too sure. There's a cracking big Christmas tree. I wouldn't like to put lights up in that thing. So we're just about to go for some dinner in Nando's. I know a lot of you have probably been to Nando's before, but I thought I'd give you an overview of the menu. How spicy? Well, it's got to be mild for me. doesn't like a cheeky wee Nando's. So I've decided to have a sunset burger, creamy mash and peri peri fries. And what are you having Natalie? I had mango and lemon, butterfly chicken, some super brain and some mash but I added cheese on mine. I love cheese so much. So I'll get some cracking lights here, just check them out. How cool are they? They do actually, don't they? There's these wee cool nutcrackers. There's just some amount of wood carvings here and all of them are absolutely amazing. <laughs> Natalie loves me apparently. Oh I do. So would it be Christmas without a snow globe? I don't think it would. How cool are the Christmas trees? <laughs> Here's just to give you a wee overview of the Christmas market. And the bar here on the right is lined with Christmas trees. And a wee candy floss machine here at the end. And Natalie taking her pictures. So we've just met Danny, Rachel and Joseph at the Christmas market. Say hi guys! Hi! hi. If I didn't just have something to eat, I would be all about these. Now, I do love myself a Christmas market and there's some cool hot chocolates in that here. But, is it just me or a lot of them becoming the same? Yeah. Every year it's just like lots of stalls the same. I mean, I still love it. Oh, no. it's got, there's lots the same. Just check out the slicing of the cheese here. Look at all the lights on the Christmas trees here. Quite a lot of them. And some of the shows and that in the background. And a big massive ferris wheel. I'm going to see if we can ride that later on. This place really is quite magical. How fast is this carousel? I think it's like one of the things where if a guy does it so many times then he gets to go home after like 10 rides or something so he's just doing it rapid. Look at all that snow. It was going all over this train when it was going. This is another one of these like helter-skelter things. 
Oh, at the speed of this. Must have the same guy in the carousel that's like, if he does it like 10 times or something and he gets to go home. It is a cold one tonight and we're doing the same as absolutely freezing. Ah, yeah, it's freezing. There's some cranking Harry Potter stuff here. And a sorting hat. Sorting hat's pretty cool. Oh my lord, Natalie's always trying to get me to go in this thing and I'm always resisting. Just look at the height of that, guys. It doesn't go that high. Yes, it does. It's fun, you can see the whole of Edinburgh. Exactly. <laughs> then the whole of Edinburgh will be seeing my dinner. <laughs> How cool are these wood carvings? As Natalie just told me there, they look like tree beard. And these wee houses and this wee dragon are pretty cool as well. Imagine you were drunk and you came across a stall. It's crazy, isn't it? It's pretty trippy, hard to It's pretty trippy. Or even worse, imagine you were on drugs. <laughs> I was just about to send Natalie and Joseph on the Yeti. Don't fault it, Joe. He is. He's got on because I'm not brave enough to do it. This is why I don't go on it. That's crazy, isn't it, man? <laughs> going running circles like that would make me a bit queasy. I can't really go running circles. It looks like every time Natalie and Joseph come run, it's just Natalie sitting on it. How did you like it? Enjoy it? Yeah. Ah, I like you're having a good time. Yeah, you like it? Fun. Was it cool? You get your money worth, don't you? Oh, you do, man. It's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Oh Just a cracking wee photo opportunity here with some Christmas tree and stars. Just a wee cracking nativity play here. Some pretty cool stuff. How wee baby's bums out, look. Well, it's naked. Well, a wee guy in the background wanting to wrap him up because it's cold out here. Cold. And just next to the nativity there's a big mass of wine. Just chilling out, sleeping. He's pretty cool, I like him. How cool is the bar in the middle there of the ice skating? There's a big column. And then all the lights at the bottom of it. And then a cracking wee bridge just heading over into the bar at the ice skating. We're just about to ride the Ghost Bus Tour. I'm hoping that we can film on it. If not, we'll let you know how we got on once we come off. Oh, I'm just on the Ghost Bus. Oh, it's pretty creepy up here. Well, it's also Christmas as well. Yeah, just sit here. Oh my goodness. I love your lamp. It's so fun. That's cool, isn't it? How cool is Natalie's Christmas bag? I love it. It's the perfect amount of Halloween and Christmas. It is. The decoration in here is pretty cool. Yeah, it's totally. Got some screen up the top there. Some tinsel. 
and these cool, like old school leather seats. The darker side of the city, visiting places of death, murder, execution, you name it. Edinburgh is one of the most haunted cities anywhere in Europe. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, the telling of ghost stories at Christmas time is an age-old tradition here in Edinburgh. Recently, it has gone a little bit out of fashion, so tonight uh, I'll bring it back from the dead. So on a ghost tour, we've literally just got off the bus and right into a graveyard. How pretty cool is that? I know. It's well cool, man. We're just going to go a wee wander around here. This is crazy. Just walking through a graveyard at night. Oh, aye. It's not very well lit, but is it? No. We're out looking for ghosts. See if we can see anything. It's spooky. A wee guide ran away face. <laughs> Here it is in the distance, so catching up on him. So that's us just back for doing the ghost tour and I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, I really liked it. I would definitely do it again. I'd recommend Aye. doing it. Definitely. It's more, it's not really ghosty, but you do go through a graveyard and that's all I'm going to tell you, but it's more fun than yeah. anything. It was advertised as a comedy tour, but it's not so much comedy, but telling history with jokes. It's really interesting that as you learn a lot, I learned stuff that I didn't know and we've been coming to Edinburgh for years. We've done ghost walks, historic walks, and I learned stuff that I didn't know. It was really, really good. And it's about an hour and ten minutes long, so be prepared for a long time on the bus, basically. Yeah. Alright, cheers. Bye.